Hello and welcome to the Future Fuel Cafe. In this video, we're gonna be looking at an AI text to video generator that right now at the moment of me recording this video is completely free to use. And it is an amazing bit of AI software that is called Pixverse. And it is something that I absolutely love. I first came across it on X, Twitter, and I've been following them for a while. And I've actually now spent the last bit of time playing around with it, sort of similar to Pika Labs, where it also has the uh, image to AI video generator and also the text to video generator. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video and I'll tell you about them, show you how they work, a few examples of the text to video and also the image to video. This is their website where everything happens. So before you get a screen that looks like this, you will have to again sign up, very easy, do it with your Google account, create an email or something like that and you get the confirmation email and you're good to go. So up here you'll see you have your little tabs. First off, if you just wanna say the home screen, this is, I wanna call it the community feed where different people have been creating their videos and then this is where it's shared to show you what they create. Now it's a mixture of text to video and also image to video. So if we go through straight away, this stunning image of an elephant, if we click it, this is a text to video, this is the prompt, and also the seed here, which is sort of like the styling aspect, and then the strength of motion that you wanted to put in, and they've gone for that style that is realistic. Here is an image, and you can just see how they've animated it. And again, a little bit of morphing around here, but again, really, really cool. And if you just go down, it just gives really lovely results. So like this here, I think this is an animation. Yeah, so 3D animation this is. Other than the bit of a weird thing with the mouth going on, really, really cool. And you just sort of get the idea, super realistic looking girl here. Um, and they again have given a negative prompt and this is in a realistic style. And again, pause the video, have a look at it. But again, just looks really stunning and to an extent sort of photo, semi-photo realistic. And again, you get the idea. So going across my videos, this is where anything you've generated, either an image to video or text to video, this is where it will come up and you will find it in here. And then if we um, go up here as well, you'll see where it says my collection. This, I haven't actually figured out what it actually sort of does yet. I wanna make a collection, but I haven't figured out how. So maybe it's something stupid I've missed, but that's that at the minute. And if you actually wanna create your own images or your own text to video, then you come over here to create, you click on that. And then at the top here, that's where it differentiates between text, so text to video or image to video. So again, this is where you put in your prompt, your negative prompt, and then here is a little slider if you wanted to make more than one image because anything you generate, it just creates one image. So if you wanted two variations, you click that. And then here again, you've got your realistic style, anime style, and 3D. And then here is your aspect ratio, and then the seed that you choose, and then you press create. And then anything that you create, like I said, you can wait for it to generate here, or it will come up to my videos when it's done. What is really nice, it's just very clean, easy to go through to navigate, and I just really like that. And again, you can download any of these videos and it's all free. So we'll just start off with the text to video with the prompts and the different styles. This first off is a realistic style, and this is a neon, uh, neon lit city, cityscape, buzzes with life, it's flying cars zoom through the air, holographic advertisements, flickering on tower, towering skyscrapers, and then this camera basically slowly moves, but you get the idea. And this is the image that is generated. Now, granted, there's no flying cars, stuff like that, but it has really given a really lovely backdrop with the cityscape in the background, the neon lights on the buildings, the skyscrapers, so I really liked it. Now again, the seed is randomly generated, I've just left it as it is, and the style is realistic. Now I've used the same prompt again, but with a different style, and we'll see what it generates, and the seed is also different. Same prompt, so I won't reread it, and this is anime. It's really nice, I love what it's done here with the um, background, I find, you see what it's doing with the feet right there though, it's sort of, um, yeah, more thing, doing some weird stuff. But apart from that, I really like it. Love the buildings there, the flickering lights. So I actually think it's pretty cool. This again, same one, 3D animation though. I think the character in very small doses is really cool, but overall hasn't come out as I would like personally. And um, I think the other two are better if I had to choose out of the three 
I would say the first one, which is realistic, is my favorite style. And then if we go and across to the next one, this one is simply raining outside window. That is the seed and the style is realistic. And that is it, nothing more than that. And this is what it's generated. And again, I actually like it. I like the effects it has on the window here, on the umbrellas, a tiny bit of morphine. And then also with her um, hands a little bit there when they're moving, just wait for it to come back, you just see. But again, really, I really do like this. I, I just think it looks a bit moody and I love the color and the texture on the trees. And if we go across to the next one, exactly the same prompt, raining outside window, anime, that's the seed and has generated this, which actually wasn't something I was expecting, you know, compared to the other one we had the umbrella standing sort of on a balcony or the window sort of thing. This was different, but I actually really do like it. It's got a little bit of morphing with the hair around here on the ears and the uh, face. But overall, I really love the consistency. I love the eyes that a tiny bit morph again. And I actually love the effect of the rain here. I think it just looks really cool and it's the anime style. And then here again, this is just the 3D animation. Don't really like it. Can't see any rain. The face is very weird. So yeah, again, pass on that. Then if we go across here, this again now is probably my favorite prompt that I used and also my favorite result for consistency and style for what I actually asked for and realistic and actually looking realistic. So on this, I said astronaut man looking out of space window into deep space, intimate shot, cinematic portrait, close up, highly detailed, Milky Way, bright stars, vivid colors, and I'm sure you can read the rest, but that's the sort of thing that I wanted. And I was actually really blown away with what it actually produced. And if you look at the reflection around here on the helmet, I really think it's cool and in the eyes a little bit as well. And it just looks really good. Yeah, and I love the stars, are just really beautiful. I, I genuinely thought that was really lovely. So then if we go across again, we have anime style. Now this, I honestly just found weird and strange. It just really wasn't anything. I mean, face is good. I'd say the hair, the detail, but it's just very sort of random astronaut man is what I asked and it's a woman. So yeah, just not really what I wanted. Wasn't really too happy with it, but even though it's not what I asked for, some nice details. As a 3D animation, looks like a girl, not a man, but the actual overall consistency, detail, love the reflection in the eyes. If we zoom in a little bit there, I just think it looks really, really nice. So I was actually really blown away with that as a 3D animation. And I think overall though, my favorite is the Space Man, that's what I asked for. And it just looks really phenomenal. So really great job. Next one, I've gone for a Peaky Blinders style uh, inspired one. And it's just a man dressed in suit, stoic, inspiring, masculine, lifelike, Peaky Blinders. <laughs> realism, 4K, 8K, ultra realism and that sort of stuff. So you get the idea. I like the movement that it has here. I love the texture on the coat, the tie, even the collar, but the eyes just look a little bit weird and a little bit lifeless, if I am honest. So that's the only thing I didn't like. I love the background and apart from that, I think overall got away with it. And I even like the jawline here a little bit, just looked realistic and very distinct. With an anime style, this just looked very weird and strange and yeah, just didn't like it. So yeah, pass on that. And then this one I thought as a 3D animation, love the design of the hair, the face, uh, the suit here, there's a little bit of weird morphing with the hand and I don't know what this is with a light or something, but yeah, really liked it. This is a simple prompt, fireworks going off over city skyline. Now, first off, this is realistic and this is a video, you can see it's playing. But there's literally a tiny bit of movement on the fireworks, nothing more than that. And yeah, didn't really like it to be flat out honest. Anime style, I thought was amazing. I love the colors. I love how it's just sort of going off and it just really suits the style well. So I really loved this. This was my favorite. And then the other one was a 3D animation, which just looked really random and Strange, yeah. <laughs> so the next bit we're gonna check is the image to video. Now, a lot of AI generated videos that you will see, I would say not most of them, but a good proportion of the videos that you do see, they will use 
text to video to generate the images. But what they will also do is, which is a massive part of it to generate that higher quality, is they will use the image to video because they can go into something like Mid Journey and generate a very high quality image that they specifically want, then take that image and then animate it in a certain way to get that particular look. Now that obviously takes a lot longer than, you know, just creating the video from text to video because, you know, it's a longer process. You have to go through one process of creating the image, then taking that image and then putting it in something like this. So now let's jump in to Pix versus image to video and I will show you what it can do. Now, just to be aware as well, compared to the text to video where you can choose from the three different styles, with this, you cannot choose any styles. You can only use a prompt and choose the, the amount of movement and then obviously put in a negative prompt as well. The first one here, this is actually my favorite shot out of all of them. Now here you'll see below, this is the image that I actually uploaded itself, just a spaceman. Again, you keep seeing that theme, space, cyberpunk, you know, I'm really into that. And I think it just looks really, really cool. It's really nice. And I actually didn't put a prompt with this one. I just let it do its thing, interpret it. And I'm really happy with the results. I think the quality, there's no real more thing. And then I will show you what it looks like upscale, just so you can see the contrast, the difference. And you'll automatically see just the sharpness there. Just look at that difference. It's just so, so cool. And it's just something that I really love. The reflection, yeah, it's my favorite image. And I just think it does this so, so well. This one is a spaceman again. I think there may be all spacemen at this point. I don't know, an astronaut playing with a basketball or holding a basketball in space. I think this was Michael Jordan inspired because at the time I was watching his Last Dance documentary on Netflix. Amazing, by the way, I recommend you watch it. And this is what it looks like. And then upscaled, just again, looks super sharp. And there was just that amazing difference. And I just love how good it is. Now granted, it's more from the ball a bit, but really I feel like I get away with that just because the overall image just looks beautiful with that background as well. We have an image of the uh, astronaut holding a coffee cup. And I just think this is actually really cool, just sort of out in the galaxy drinking coffee as you do. This here, by the way, is one that I prompted. So HDR, stunning, highly detailed colors, realistic colors and color contrast. And that's all I put in. It did a really, really good job. And again, I upscaled it. So this is what it looks like. And just a beautifully upscaled image, which again, with the reflection here, I just really love it. I think the only thing I would say is maybe I'd like to see the rocks moving a little bit as well. You've got a bit of movement with the arm. You have a tiny bit of morph in there, a little bit there. But other than that, I'm really happy with the image. Now, this was just an image that I liked. I can't remember what I put in for the prompt to actually generate the image on Mid Journey, but I just liked this sort of background moving around. And uh, yeah, I just thought it looked funky. And then here on the upscaled one, you'll just see it's a little bit more um, sharp, but I think when it's upscaled, it's a little bit blurry. But I like it, I thought it looked cool. I don't think it's something that's gonna blow you away, but I just really liked it. So after showing you the text to video and then the image to video, now I'm just gonna give you my overall thoughts, what I like, what I don't like, and what I genuinely think about it. I think right now we are living in an amazing time that is just so fast changing with AI technology as a whole, as I've said in many of my previous videos. And right now, especially this year, I think the biggest area of AI technology that's really gonna take off is video, AI video creation as a whole. And that's what I said in one of my previous videos about you know what is, what's the impact gonna be? What's that gonna look like? And I've also linked that down below if you're interested in that. So directly on the pigs verse, what do I think of them? Well, first off, this is free. Right now at the point of recording this, this is free. And again, at some point, I believe it will go behind a paywall. What that will look like, I do not know. So these are the things that I love about it. First off, it's free, if I haven't said. <laughs> and what I actually love, aside from it being free, in all seriousness, is the level of control it gives you with the seed. And also being able to give the, not just the normal prompt, but also a negative prompt saying what not to focus on. And I love that little bit of a control. Out of all of the three modes, I think the realistic mode is my favorite for consistency. I just think it looks, again, 
as it says on the tin, realistic, borderline lifelike in areas. And I think the other two styles are very good. They are a little bit more inconsistent, but areas of them are really great. But as an overall, realistic was my favorite. But then also I love the colors that it generates. I love the tones. I think that really stands out and it looks really cool, really lovely, really varied, very, uh, nice depth to the color and to the image. And I really like that. I really give them whatever they've done with their technology to be able to create this, their software. I really love that. The ability to switch on the HD version to make the image that image to video higher quality. I really do like that as well. The one thing that I do not like, and I really couldn't think of other words to use because it's sort of branched from this, is inconsistency. There were many inconsistencies in different areas, whether it was the styling, the consistency of the image, the consistency of the morphing, because once you got it right and it actually did it, it did it really, really well. And then other times it just looked a little bit bad. And I think you saw that in some of my examples. I think that's the area where I need to get better, the consistency. But I think really they have something special here. I really would recommend it. I really do love it. It's something that I've been playing around a lot with a lot more than Pika Labs as well. And yeah, I just think they're really good and there's gonna be a lot more potential in this company. So I think it's something you should watch. I think the image to video is pretty good. The only thing that I would like there is to be able to add the styles because at the minute I have no control over that, but when it's generated, again, it shows you, it will say realistic. Well, I wanna be able to play around with that and choose, you know, anime or 3D. So that is my overall review of Pixverse. Go and give it a try. I really rate them. I think they've got some really great stuff there. And again, they're already on to a great, great win to say they've only been out a few months bear in mind as well other than that i just wanted to say let me know what you think if there's any other bits of ai video software as a whole that you think i should look at let me know leave them in the comments down below and i'll see you in the next video bye